Hey everyone, welcome back to Organism of the Month at the Bean Museum. Um, this month we're talking about the anglerfish, which is a fish that fishes for other fish. Sounds a little fishy if you ask me. <laughs> anglerfish actually refers to an entire order of fish, which includes 16 families and hundreds of species around the planet. Um, they're not that big, with the largest only being a couple feet in length, and they're not built for speed and they have a face that only a mother could love. Their common name, anglerfish, comes from this crazy looking lure thing that comes out of their head. Uh, most species live in deep water where there isn't any light, so the end of the lure will actually glow to attract prey. Once it gets close enough, the anglerfish sucks it in using its giant mouth. The lure itself comes from a modified dorsal spine, but the crazy thing is that the glow doesn't come from the fish. The luminescence comes from symbiotic bacteria. The bacteria get a safe place with stable conditions to live, and the anglerfish gets a glow-in-the-dark fishing lure. It's a pretty nice deal, if you ask me. I think if I gave my landlord a glow stick, I probably wouldn't get free rent. The other crazy thing about anglerfish is that all of these pictures so far have been a female anglerfish. The anglerfish is actually one of the most extreme examples of sexual dimorphism in the animal kingdom. Um, sexual dimorphism basically means that the males and females of a species look different. Di meaning two, morph, morphism meaning form. Let me give some examples. Um, in a lot of species, males are larger than females, especially when males have to compete for mates. Uh, think of lions, for example. But in many animals, the females are actually larger than males, usually because this lets females give birth to larger offspring. This is the case for a lot of snakes, for example. And for some animals, both sexes are roughly the same size, but have dramatically different colors. This is also referred to as sexual dichromatism. Um, this is super common in birds, everything from ducks to peacocks, um, where the males will have really bright colors and the females are typically rather drab. Now the anglerfish take sexual dimorphism to an extreme. You see that little parasite looking thing attached? Yeah, that's the male anglerfish. They're tiny. Um, a male will actually swim along until he finds the gill of his dreams. Um, then he bites onto her and fuses his body with hers, permanently in some species. And you thought that dating at BYU was weird. Now, if you've been thinking about coming into the museum lately, Maybe I can lure you in with some free anglerfish bio cards. These don't glow in the dark though. Um, but if you come in and talk to an educator in a green shirt, tell them a fact about the anglerfish, they'll give you one of these official cards for free. We also have an anglerfish coloring page available for download on our website. Um, if you print it off, color it and bring it into the museum, we'll hang it up on our Organism of the Month art wall. And we'll also pick a favorite coloring page every month, and the winner gets free ice cream. All right, that's all I've got for this month. Um, starting to feel a little guilty at all of these fish puns. Um, somebody told me that they were a C plus at best. So that wraps up for this month. We'll see you next month when we talk about the box jellyfish.